Hey tech enthusiasts, today we're delving into the fascinating world of Music Gen, a powerhouse in the realm of text to music generation. Let's uncover the intricacies behind this groundbreaking research. Music Gen isn't your run of the mill text to music player, it's a technological marvel, and we're here to break down why. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of the experimental setup. Music Gen took a bold approach by diving into stereophonic data. They opted for a pre trained monophonic Music Gen model and applied the encodec tokenizer to the the left and right channels. Specifically, two K equal sign eight codebooks per frame. The secret sauce in this experiment lies in the delay pattern featuring two variations, stereo delay and stereo partial delay. The preference is clear, stereo audio triumphs, especially with a nod to the effectiveness of the stereo partial delay pattern. Moving on to the ablation study, a focused examination of different codebook patterns. The patterns under scrutiny include delay, parallel, course first, and the standout, Flattening. This study isn't just about music generation. It's a meticulous dance between computational cost and efficiency. Among these patterns, flattening emerges as a star, showcasing its effectiveness, albeit with some associated computational costs. It underscores the idea that in the realm of technology, simplicity often outshines complexity. Let's discuss the significance of size. Music Gen tackled the challenge of model size by experimenting with three different scales. The results, as revealed in the observations, indicate that subjective quality peaks at 1, 5B. However, the 3, 3B model exhibits a superior ability to synchronize with the text prompt's rhythm. This prompts a nuanced consideration of the delicate balance between model size, subjective quality, and responsiveness to textual cues. Considering model scale opens up an intriguing crossroads. While a larger model comes with superior parameters, this poses questions about the intricate interplay between model size, subjective quality, and responsiveness to textual cues. Shifting gears to the memorization experiment, Music Gen's prowess in memorizing sequences takes center stage. As illustrated, the experiment, grounded in a data-driven approach, scrutinizes exact and partial matches. This sheds light on Music Gen's ability to learn and retain information effectively. The memorization experiment introduces a fascinating dimension. Different model sizes showcase distinct memorization capabilities, emphasizing the delicate balance between neural complexity and the model's efficacy in encoding and retrieving information information. It reinforces the notion that crafting these models involves careful decision-making to strike a balance between capacity and efficiency. Now, let's navigate through related work. The audio representation landscape has witnessed various milestones, from quantizing speech to VQVAE on raw waveforms, and from GAN-based approaches to diffusion models. MusicGen, positioned within this rich tapestry, emerges not merely as an isolated innovation, but as an integral thread in the broader fabric of technological progress. The exploration of related work work serves as a compass, guiding us through the evolutionary path of audio representation. Each milestone contributes to the ongoing narrative of technological advancement. Music Gen, standing tall in this diverse terrain, signifies its role in this broader progression. Entering the discussion realm, we confront Music Gen's limitations. The challenge lies in achieving fine-grained control over adherence to conditioning. While text augmentation leans towards simplicity, audio conditioning beckons further research. Ethical challenges are not overlooked. Legal agreements secure data, dataset diversity is acknowledged, and simplification opens doors to new applications. It's not just about tech, it's about responsible research practices. As we navigate the discussion, the spotlight turns towards inherent challenges. The quest for fine-grained control becomes a pivotal point, highlighting the need for advancements in audio conditioning. Ethical considerations are carefully tended to, emphasizing the responsibilities associated with wielding such powerful technologies. This discussion serves as a call, not just for innovation, but for a conscientious approach, ensuring that the march of progress is accompanied by a measured stride. Zooming out to the broader impact, large-scale generative models present ethical challenges, and MusicGen confronts them head-on. Legal agreements, secure data, dataset diversity is acknowledged, and the simplification opens doors to new applications. It transcends the realm of technology, embodying principles of inclusivity and responsible usage. As we expand our gaze to the broader impact, the narrative shifts from the micro of experimental setups to the macrocosm of ethical considerations. The acknowledgement of dataset diversity becomes a cornerstone, recognizing that inclusivity is not merely a buzzword, but a foundational principle. Music Gen, in its stride, goes beyond technology, extending its impact into the realms of fairness, representation, and equitable access. Closing this exploration with a solemn acknowledgement, a tragic event serves as a backdrop, prompting a call for unity and dedication. No embellishments, just a raw, honest closure. Closure. Music
Music Gen's journey transcends technology. It's a testament to unity within the academic community. In conclusion, this deep dive into Music Gen unveils raw insights. If tech revelations resonate with you, hit that like button and stay tuned. We've traversed the breadth, peeled back the layers, and laid bare the raw insights. Catch you in the next one.